So when I was a junior in high school, I spent my spring semester on Tri, Tichon Ramah Yerushalayim, in Jerusalem with um, 68 other kids, sophomores and juniors in high school, and 19 of those 68 kids were from Palmer, uh, from New England, and that's like an unprecedented number, and it was really wonderful for us to sort of take over the program in that way. Um, and there was one Tiul that we went on. We were in the Negev and they brought us to these sand dunes. At one point they, um, they made us sit far away from each other, um, space us out and gave us some time to just sort of reflect and talk to ourselves and um, write, you know, do a little journaling and they gave us a few prompts. And, you know, I looked around and there were just so many camp kids and I was in Israel. It was just a moment where I connected with Israel itself and so strongly was, was strengthened by my Rama connection and push from that. I was a Nivonim counselor one of the summers that, that I was here, my next to last summer, so that was 1986. And um, I very vividly remember the New York trip, you know, taking, and now Sarah's getting ready to, to do the same thing, taking the whole Ada to um, New York. We stayed at the, um, the joint programs dorm um, up near uh, JTS and just kind of traipsing all over Manhattan with this this group of, of students and I'm still connected through Facebook actually with all of the Cliff Nerwin was um, the Roche Da and Sivia Ainspan and um, Ted Wachtel were the other two counselors and we we are all still you know kind of in contact with each other so that experience of taking that group of kids out of the camp environment and to a place where I felt really comfortable was uh, was really kind of a neat experience. One of my favorite memories from Irma is the night before Color War, my Nivonim summer in 2009. One of my closest friends and I were the regular Torah readers in Arida, so she and I sat in our Moadon probably too late into the night um, learning all the Torah readings for the next morning. One of my greatest Ramah memories is the summer that I was Rosh Adata Solalim, Josh Edelglass was Rosh Adata Ilanot, and Fred Elias was Rosh Adat Shoafim. And one day we just decided we were going to do something different, and we left lunch a little bit early. We went and we set up a baby's pool on the Migrash for Tzad Aleph. We filled it up with soap, bubbles, and water. I think we even had swans surrounding it, and we just had a good time. And the kids came and, and played with us and splashed us. And, and it was a moment for me of Rashe Eda, who had such an educational role and such a, a supervisory role, just with conveying to the kids that a big part of camp is just to have a good time, um, not to minimize the other pieces, but just to have a good time. And we all had to have a good time in order for the Chanichim to have a good time, even the Rashe Eda. Um, and that was just a huge moment for me. In Shoafim, when our inclusion camper Allegra had her bat mitzvah and I was given the opportunity to read Torah, I think that was really special. To be able to be a part of someone else's bat mitzvah was just something so incredible, especially to celebrate one of my best friends who I've known for a couple of years was just, it was really like a life-changing and amazing experience. We had a Yom Cham. It was so hot. So one was, one of the rules in camp that summer was that a Milchemet Mayim was absolutely asur. So um, I was sitting uh, under a tree in front of A5, and my friend Arnie, uh, who was always getting me into trouble, decided it was too hot and he had to do something. So he filled up a garbage can full of water, and he dumped it over my head. And, uh, well, what was I supposed to do? I had all my campers watching me. I couldn't just not retaliate. So I got my campers and we went and we got 10 garbage cans full of water, taking garbage cans from every bunk that we could find it. And we dumped it, all 10 of them over his head. Well, before you knew it, the entire east side of camp was having a Milchemet milch, Mayim. And uh, that caused quite a stir and a visit with the director that night. But uh, it was fun. My first year's sport was Palmer Girl Softball, huh? It was a really big part of my camp experience. Some of my like closest friends are from the team. 
Um, when I was in Bo Green, I played on the varsity team. And that, like, as a Bo Greamer, that, like, made my life. Like, the fact that I could, like, knew Nivo Neemers and, like, talk to them and were, like, friends with them. Because in my mind, we were friends. I don't know if they thought we were friends, but, like, in my mind, we were friends. Like, that was, like, the greatest thing in the entire world. Probably one of my favorite memories uh, from Camp Rama was during my Nivo Neem summer, the, when I was in the oldest age group, after my seven summers of being a camper here. Uh, it was the last Shabbat of camp, which is Shabbat Nivonim. And we were doing one of my favorite things, which was Nivonim was leading the Sudashli Sheet uh, Shirim in the Ohel for the rest of B-Side. And that's always a very intense emotional experience for Nivonim. I just remember sitting close to one of my good friends. Uh, she was starting to cry. Uh, I was starting to cry. We held each other's hands because we, we knew we were, we were ending something really special. It was, it was sad, but it really emphasized just how much Camper Mom meant to me and to everyone around me. My last night, or actually my last morning here as a camper in Nivonim, we woke up very early and we did tefillot on the beside Agam. And it, during the mo early morning hours, the whole Agam at that, out, like at that time of day is just complete mist and fog. And, um, our Rosh at the time, he allowed us to go anywhere within the beach during the silent Amida to have time to ourselves. Like when he said that a bunch of us went out onto the docks to pray the Amida. And it was just so cool because here you are, you're ending your last year as a camp, your last summer as a camper ever. And it was kind of cool because it was like you're looking off into the distance and like me, I personally stayed on the beach. And I'm seeing as my friends are walking off into the fog and everything and it's kind of interesting, it almost felt like a dream where it's almost like they were walking out into the abyss and you would never see them again. And then yet they still returned. And I think that really reflects back to everything now. I mean, working here on staff, I mean, I'm constantly seeing all of my, my friends that I made throughout those years returning and working here as staff. So Nivonim summer, the last Shabbat of camp is very sad for the Nivonimers. But my year, my group of friends were all singing Ufkazal and we actually didn't cry. We were laughing and we were having a great time and we decided to enjoy the moment. And I think that that was a profound moment for all of us that we were able to just enjoy and be in the moment instead of having sadness take over. And we were just trying to appreciate camp. So we